Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is a strange kind of video, but goes right along with what we've been learning lately. How to read your own ingredients, doing your own research, and stuff like that. Well, I'm putting together my grocery order to be delivered later. Because that's the only way I can get food. Uh... And I was looking for a treat for my dog, for when he's a good boy, and he is. He uses his potty pads, so I wanted to keep treating him. Okay, that's enough of that. Stop making that noise. And the last thing I bought ended up having, I didn't read the ingredients, and it ended up having corn, cornmeal, corn syrup solids, and dyes. Four <coughs> colors of dyes. Anyway, so I'm reading labels. Okay, here's a, a product I thought sounded really, really good. All right? But but I knew for the price, it had to be not so good. It's called Milk Bone Dog Snacks. Now, the original Milk Bone Biscuits have always been, I mean, around forever. Dogs love them. I never really read the ingredients that I remember. But anyway, this is one with beef and bacon for only $4.19. And that's with Instacart. That's, you know, everything's higher with Instacart. So I'm reading ingredients, right? Listen to the ingredients. Whole wheat, wheat flour, rolled oats, beef, bacon, dried peas, beef, Fat, preserved with mixed tocopherols, dried carrots. I'm thinking this sounds pretty good. Natural flavor, salt, which uh, if you don't know, natural flavor is most likely coming from HEK 293 and you almost cannot get away from it unless you can afford to eat whole foods. I wish I could, but I'd have to cook. Unless I just ate salads all the time. And even that takes time to prep. I'm just, uh, anyway, getting back to this. It has caramel color, wheat, gluten, natural smoke flavor, bacon fat, sodium, uh, sodium metabol metabisulfite used as a preservative. I should look further into that, but almost all of them have something like that. Iron oxide for color, which is better than those dyes. Citric acid, used as a preservative. That's vitamin C. Mixed tocopherols, used as a preservative. Rosemary extract. Now, that sounds real good, doesn't it? I was about to click Add to Cart, but I saw the very last thing, NPO2. NPO2, I'm thinking, what in the world is that? i got to look that up. So, when I went up here, I just typed it right into, like, where you would put a web address <laughs> instead of pulling up Google. What is NPO2? You would not believe it. Neptunium oxide. Neptunium oxide or neptunium dioxide is a radioactive olive green cubic crystalline solid with the formula NPO2. Exactly the way it's spelled with the P, lowercase, capital O, lowercase 2, which is what oxygen is. It is a common product of, get this, plutonium fission and emits both A, written in the Greek, minus, and Y, like the Greek, minus particles more wikipedia okay so over here it's talking about pub chem 
NPO2 pub chem, neptunium dioxide, and everything about it is talking about chemicals and chemical properties, nothing about food, nothing about uh, increases uh, like for a preservative. Okay, so listen to what I did. I went up to Google just, just to see. I just got curious. And I said, what is NPO2? What is capital N, small p, capital O, and then add a 2? And I put a question mark. Here's what I got. NPO space 2, formerly Nederland 2, Dutch pronunciation, Nederland 2, until 2014 is a Dutch television channel, sister channel of NPO 1 and NPO 3. NPO 2 tends to broadcast arts, culture, politics, news, current affairs, and blah, blah, blah. All right. Over here, see results about NPO Space 2 television channel. There's more on that. Okay. Over here it says a tiny little https colon slash slash pubmed dot ncbi dot nlm dot nih national institutes of health dot gov now the line you would be clicking on says Nasopharyngeal oxygen with intermittent nose close and 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 underneath without clicking on it it says N C A C or N P O with a two in parentheses is a simple and effective C P R technique. For severe acute cardiopulmonary asphyxia in piglets. Okay, going on. Neptunium 4 oxide at Wikipedia. Okay, now this, I didn't click on this. Ah, this is the one that said you gotta go four down to get to. Neptunium dioxide is a radioactive olive green cubic crystalline solid, blah, blah, blah. Do you want that in your dog's food? Not me. It was so cheap, sounded so good. Why can someone explain to me that's a chemist or you know a lot about this kind of thing? Does this break down in heating process to be a preservative? Because it didn't say that and it should. Okay, I'm ending this here. I've talked long enough. I just wanted to tell you, keep reading your ingredients. Bye for now. Talk to you later. And I haven't forgotten about that second, that second prophecy I want to bring to you from three days before the one I shared. I couldn't find it at first, so I'm going to have to um, spend a little more time digging through through uh, 444 Prophecy News to find it. Anyway, I had to get started getting my groceries together because I'm kind of slow and then I add stuff and then I go, no, I don't need that. And I got to take it off and so on. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. I will get it up today. Bye for now. Talk to you later.